Hi there, Virgo, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of May the 4th through the 10th. I went ahead and shuffled the cards, laid them all out. Let's see what's going on for Virgo. First up, we have Major Arcana Justice in the upright, followed then by the Queen of Cups upright. Next, we have the Ace of Wands in the upright, followed by Major Arcana, the Fool in the upright, and the last card is the uh, Hermit in the reverse position. You've got one, two, three, Major Arcana. Probably an intense week for some of you Virgos out there. So here we go for your overall energy. This is beautiful, Virgo. We've got Justice in the upright position. Libra card, some of you could be dealing with a Libra. Whatever the situation is here this week that you are dealing with, whether it's personal or whether it's work-related, romantic-related, there there was something that was not fair or you felt was not fair in a situation. But justice is here. Some of you, this could be representative of an actual legal situation that you were dealing with. And now justice is here. There could be um, someone who puts it right. This could represent perhaps uh, someone who is like a negotiator or an arbitrator. And this person could make it right. This could be about a, a judicial rule. So somebody rules in your favor. Uh, whatever the situation is, uh, Virgo, it looks like things are really going to become fair and balanced this week. Now, coming right off the hop, we do have the Queen of Cups in the upright position. It is a court card, could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, for some of you, this could represent your better half, your <laughs> your spouse or your partner or a love interest. For others of you, this could be representing a family member or a best friend or a co-worker. Queen of Cups is somebody who is, or it could even be you embodying the energies of the Queen of Cups. This could be how you're feeling coming into the week. Very emotionally mature, sound, grounded, knowing exactly um how to process the emotions, or this could be somebody you're dealing with. For some of you, this could be a counselor, this could be a doctor, this could be somebody you're talking to, and this person is really uh, able to listen and perhaps help you process your emotions. Either that or you're doing that with someone else. And the next card you have up is the Ace of Wands in the upright position. This is all about a new beginning. And when it comes to wands, this is all about passion, excitement, adventure. So for some of you, perhaps there's a passionate new relationship. Definitely, it could be that as well. Uh, passion, something new that you're that's being offered to you. So for some of you, it's just coming out of the blue. And you're like, wow, where did this come from? It could be a passionate new idea. It could be something for you to follow up on. It could be... But it's something, or some of you, this could indicate a renewed passion. Perhaps you were becoming sort of so-so with your relationship or so-so with your job or your career. And now, all of a sudden, boom, the passion has returned again. Now, moving on towards the weekend, we do see the beautiful energies here of the Fool. I really do like the Fool's energy because it just... It brims with excitement because it's that sort of excitement, the fear of the unknown. It's a little bit of risky energy. So whatever it is you're thinking about moving towards, I think you might be feeling a little bit like, oh, I don't know if I should be doing this. But it's something is lighting your fire here, Virgo. It's just making you want to do it. Whatever it is, there's something almost driving you. It's driving your passion. And it's like, I can't not do this. Like, I need to do this. And then the last card you have up is the Virgo card here, the Hermit, in the reverse position. So I definitely do think this is you at the end of the week, Virgo. This new exciting beginning is coming in and you're just like, wow, I'm jumping in. Because the Hermit in reverse is a return to action. So there is something that has lit your fire here, Virgo, and you are moving right towards it. 
So please do leave a comment in the comment section below if this resonated for you because I'm very, very curious. <laughs> But that is your reading. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Bye-bye.